What's up guys? In a previous video, I showed you the F722 wing flight controller and the intent for that controller was for this plane. This is my Nano Talon. It's a wonderful little plane. It's gonna be maidened here shortly. Uh, so it still looks good because I haven't crashed it yet. But this video, I thought I'd just show you how I put this together. Uh, I started off by soldering the uh, flight control. It comes without the header soldered on, so you have to go through and solder everything up. No big deal. I did it under my microscope so you guys could see, but uh, you don't need a microscope. Anybody can solder it. Just take your time and be, uh, be careful with it. Next up, I, I assembled the plane. Uh, putting the GPS, uh, airspeed sensor, all the different electronics inside. And I did try and video it, but I didn't do a very good job with voiceovers on the video. So I'll put just the footage in here and then we'll go into where I did explain what I was doing a little bit. Step through to the end of the build and then uh, that's where we'll leave off because uh, I don't have a maiden done on this yet. So I did take this out to the field today and what ended up happening was uh, the wind was too high. So at the end of the video, I'll leave you off with uh, what I did end up doing was flying one of my quads and ripping around, had a wee of a time. So in a few days, hopefully we'll get this out and test it out. Then I'll share my settings and everything with you. You can already find it on my GitHub. Uh, just go to GitHub and go to my drone configs um, uh, project and all my configs are in there. Uh, whether or not they're right for this one uh, is to be determined. So uh, buyer beware on those. So cheers guys, hope you like the videos and uh, stick around as this project unfolds. Okie dokie. Tiny little bit of hot glue on the leading edge of it. That way if this punches through, it doesn't have to punch through the glue and it should just pop back and pop both of these off or, or just move the tube back. Should be a somewhat crash resilient if it's on a nose like so and looks just like a real plane nice little pedostatic tube sticking out very very cool love it don't know whether i've got the lines on the right way though they're not labeled which one is the static port and which one is the straight through port and, yeah, yeah whatever so be it okay here it is as it happens this is uh where i got to i got my gps on i got a lot of stuff plumbed including our video transmitter i've got a smoke stopper in series with the battery because i wanted to be sure and sure enough we have video from our run cam swift uh, no lighty light so i think we're good this should be working it looks like the gps has got a light airspeed sensor is plumbed in there's no lighting on that because that's just an analog sensor and uh, there's our uh, VTX antenna. I just 3D printed a mount, stuck it on the side, and just cut it in with my soldering iron. It seems to be seems to be pretty good. I think we might be ready to keep wiring up some more stuff. Oh yeah, I wired up. Ah, what do you know? we have our uh, fr sky receiver working so i even forgot i did that this has been a lot of hours but that's where we sit so far so good the lines on this aren't, aren't from the the plane they're just this crappy display these are these lousy displays that i got ages ago with cheap drones but they work great for bench test uh rigs so you just take a look see whether it's working i holy smokes we're getting there we might have a talon here soon. Okay, so here's where we're at. I'm pushing my final configs up to GitHub right now. And we have a completely configured autopilot all set up. Everything seems to be working with my QX7. I think we're ready for a maiden flight. We'll see though. I have to take this out and give it a go but video transmitter antenna video transmitter receiver flight control gps we should be in good shape everything checks out video is working osd set up so i guess we'll find out all righty just getting ready to head out to the field for maiden i figured better get a look at it before uh, <laughs> before something bad happens 
this is uh, this is where we ended up. I've got OLED on the side. Uh, it's running iNav. I've got pedostatic tube for airspeed. Our uh, video transmitter and a Pagoda antenna. Our F722 wing flight controller, GPS, and as you can hear, this is stabilized mode on now. And my FR Sky receiver. Uh, not sure how this will work out, but good enough for today. Uh, just out the side and out the top. So regardless of roll angle, there'll be an antenna that should always have line of sight to me. Um, yeah, looks pretty awesome. I like it. Looks even better with the top cover on, but yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Good if you're addicted to speed. <laughs> and these are slow. Compared to the new ones. Like this quad now. GoPro stop recording. <laughs>